It is Jackmaster Flash. We are back at the Greendale Club Circuit. That can only mean one thing. It is the 32 mile Beast Gargantuan. So I promised the last time out that I would take the IDR around a 32 mile long track. And I also said that the IDR would win. Obviously, that was me being sarcastic because the top speed of the IDR is 189 miles an hour. Um, with the tune I currently got on the car, it tops out round about 181. So it's not bad, not bad at all. It is all electric, so it is quiet. And wow. There is two sides to this car. It's like um, a Jekyll and Hyde. At low speed, the car really wants to kill you <laughs> in want of a better turn. Um, there is no grip, nothing. Uh, obviously, it, it feels uh, rear wheel drive. You can't change the, um, the drivetrain in this, um, but it feels uh, heavily weighted towards the rear of the car and when you put your foot down the back end uh, tends to squirm all over the place however when it gets to about 100 miles an hour I have never driven a car in Forza that has so much grip I know it was designed to go up Pikes Peak and Pikes Peak has taken so many lives and in 2018 this car took the record to get up that mountain in 7 minutes and 57 seconds it was just if you guys do not know what Pikes Peak is please 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 go and have a look go and have a look it is phenomenally scary phenomenally scary i know jimmy broadbent he's uh done a lot of um vids on taking different cars at pikes peak just wow and for this car to do it in that time it took the record it's phenomenal but unfortunately gargantuan is more towards a power circuit rather than um a, a slow speed circuit and this car where it tops out at 180 odd miles an hour it unfortunately can't keep up with the rest of the pack i think i dropped down to about 11th and for whatever reason i finished fourth i don't know how that happened but if you keep watching you will find out but this car if it wasn't so crazy at low speeds would probably be the one of the very best cars in the game for well many reasons i mean you can use it as a drifter or as a car that can go very quickly around around corners if you know what i mean but what i will share with you guys is for every speed trap um i don't mean uh the speed camera on its own i mean the two speed cameras where you've got to get from point a to point b in a certain amount of time this car is absolutely ideal for those type of speed traps with lower speeds it will increase your score dramatically for example there is a speed trap by the festival where it has some serious um, almost 90 degree turns and I had only just got three stars on it I mean I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. It's to the right of the festival. Um, it was in the autumn, one of the autumn playlists. And anyway, if it was 100 miles an hour uh, to go in three stars, I think I had 101. I took this car on the speed trap and took it from 101 to about 150. It, it, I went up about 40 miles an hour, that's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I have talked and waffled long enough. Um, I really hope you enjoy the IDR it is a fan fantastic car and if you haven't got it wait for it to come back around or if you can afford it go and buy it you will not be disappointed I hope you guys are all well I would really love to hear your comments down below and what you think the IDR what car you'd like to see next because remember Gargantuan is 
a phenomenal phenomenal circuit really hope you guys are well um remember if you like what you see hit that like button if you love what you see hit that subscribe button there is loads of content on my channel if you want to go and check it out there is links down in my description to my discord server and two of my mates that's bio ben and connor speed six go and check those guys out as well you will not be disappointed i can guarantee you that have a happy monday guys catch you in the next vid peace